Hey guys, it's Ellie. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 super last minute DIY Halloween costumes. So let's get into it. The first costume is Sully from Monsters Inc. and Monsters University. Start off with some light purple felt. It worked best with sticky felt, but I couldn't find any, so I just used normal felt. And trace a bunch of circles. Cut out all your circles. Take a blue t-shirt and lay all your circles where you want them. Stick or glue them on. I used a hot glue gun. Once dry, you are finished. So for the whole costume, I just wore black leggings, so you can wear jeans or blue leggings, really anything. I also wore this Monsters University hat, which I already had, which I thought went perfect with the costume, but it's totally optional. And there you go, that is the whole costume, super easy, super quick, and you are ready to go. Costume number two is a little more complicated, but it's my personal favorite, a creepy wind-up doll. Start out with cardboard and trace out two overlapping circles. Then draw two lines below it to the bottom of your cardboard. Take a smaller circle that you can trace and draw two circles inside your large circles. Go ahead and cut that out. Make sure to cut out the inside of the circles too. This is the shape of your windup. Now take a paper towel roll and you will want to shorten it. Then take some paint. I used brown but you can use any color and cover the whole thing. Now take the same paint and cover your top of your windup, which we just cut out. Once the top of it is dry, make sure to paint the other side too. Now it depends how long your windup is and how heavy it is if you can do this, but cut two holes opposite each other on your tube, then thread some ribbon through. Now glue your top of your windup into the tube. Originally I used this method and tied the windup around my waist, but it was too heavy and kept falling. So instead I cut out a piece of cardboard and cut slits in, and then I taped it to the inside of my tube. Then I took some stronger ribbon and duct taped that to the bottom. This was much sturdier and allowed the windup to stay up. Alright, so that's the DIY portion of this costume, now for the makeup. I started with some very pale foundation, a little paler than my skin tone. I put that all over my face. Then I took some really light powder and put that all over my face, making sure there aren't any streaks. Then I took this dark pink cheek glaze and rubbed it to the apples of my cheeks, which you can find by smiling. Then I added a little dark pink blush on the top. For my eyes, I lined the bottom and top of my eyes black. Now for the tricky part, I used some black eye color and a fine brush and drew little V's under my bottom lashes. Then I filled the V's in. Finally, the lips. I took some liquid foundation I put on earlier on my whole lips. Make sure to do this last because your lips will be pretty dry. Then I took a lip liner and drew a sort of heart shape onto the middle of my lips. I filled that in, then took some red lipstick and put that on top of my lip liner. And there you go, some creepy doll makeup. Finally, I just put my hair into a middle part and tied off two high ponytails for that young baby doll look. And there you go. You can wear any dress you'd like. I wore this yellow one, then tied on my windup. I love this costume so much, it's so cool and original. And trust me guys, the makeup is not very hard. I am the worst person at makeup. That was literally the first time I ever put foundation on myself. So if I can do it, you totally can too. The next costume is Lilo from Lilo and Stitch. Print out or draw a picture of a leaf that is on Lilo's dress that looks like this. I just searched up Lilo leaf. Cut out your template, then place it on top of white sticky felt and cut out the shape on your felt. Make sure to cut out the little part inside the leaf. You should cut out a bunch of these, I did four. Now get a red dress and take the sticky part off your felt and stick on all your leaves facing different directions. And that is all you have to do. This costume is really easy, especially if you already have the dress like I did. It would be really cute if you had a stuffed animal of Stitch so you could carry him around or another option is you could wear a leaf crown like Lilo. Or you can just wear the dress like I did. It's still adorable. My next idea is this Little Red Riding Hood costume. This costume is super easy. You can really wear whatever you want, but I think it looks best if you wear white, red, and black. So I wore a long sleeve white shirt, 
a sparkly red skirt, and then this red hood, which is obviously essential, so you can go ahead and make this or buy one. And then finally, to top it off, you will need a basket to carry around. And this is super nice because you can totally put your stuff in it, like your phone, or maybe if you're going trick or treating, you could also put your candy in it. So this is pretty useful. This next costume is definitely one of my favorites. It's an 80s girl. So what I wore was a black shirt and I just pushed it off my shoulder so that it would show my strap. And then I also wore a bunch of jewelry and I think this is definitely essential. It definitely makes your outfit. And I also found some green mascara. Guys, can we just appreciate? And then I wore these pink hoops and a pink scrunchie and also some purple necklaces. And guys, please look and appreciate these gold pants. Aren't they amazing? So definitely going to like a thrift store or maybe raiding your grandma's closet or your parents' closet is perfect for this. So it's super easy to find stuff for this. And you can just totally make it your own. This costume is not only really customizable, but it's also easy and super fun. The next costume is super easy. It's Where's Waldo? So all you need is a red and white striped shirt and also a hat that has red and white on it and a little red puffball which you can totally DIY by just getting a white hat, adding some red felt and a red pom pom. You will also need some black glasses which Waldo wears and just some regular blue jeans and that is all. It's super easy. The next costume is the Queen of Hearts. I started off by taking some gold glitter paper and I just drew a bunch of zigzags and cut that out. This will make your crown shape. Once it's all cut out, you can go ahead and just glue one side and then fold it together so that it's in a circle. And then I added some red heart stickers and that's all. I glued my crown onto a black headband and there you go. So I just wore a white t-shirt along with this costume and also this really cool skirt that has these cards on it that's perfect for the queen of hearts. But you can really wear whatever you want as long as it has some sort of heart or card theme. The next costume is a black mouse. So all you need to start off is take some black face paint or makeup and what you want to do is just draw on a little nose and then some whiskers on both sides of your face. Then take any sort of headband that's an animal. Obviously I'm using mouse ears because I am a mouse but basically for my mouse I just wore some black clothes so a black t-shirt and a black pair of leggings. This costume is so easy and cheap and it's perfect because it's last minute because you can totally just find these ears at a dollar store or you can make them yourself. The ninth costume is a bank robber. I started off by taking some black felt and cut out a little piece and just cut that into a mask shape. This is super easy, you just want to do sort of round ends and then you want to cut out the eyes. Next I cut a slit at the end of my mask and slipped some black ribbon through. I tied that into a knot. I did the same thing on the other side, so I cut a slit and put the ribbon through, but this time I did not knot it because this way you can just put it on your head and pull the ribbon so that it fits perfectly. For the rest of this costume, just wear a black and white striped shirt and some black pants or leggings, and there you have it. This is super easy, and I think it would be super cute if you carried around a white pillowcase and drew a money sign on it to put your candy in or whatever you're doing for Halloween. The tenth and final costume is Supergirl. This is a really easy costume. I just started off by taking my Little Red Riding Hood hood that I used earlier and I flipped it inside out so that the hood would face towards my back and you couldn't see it. Then I pushed it behind my shoulders and used it as a cape. Then I wore a Superman shirt which you should be able to find at a clothing store and I wore the same skirt that I wore for my Little Red Riding Hood costume so this is a super easy way to revamp an old costume. Alright guys, that's the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed and found a Halloween costume that you can use this year. And please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!